by special recording. General Mills, makers of Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions, and Cheerios, the oat cereal ready to eat, presents The Lone Ranger. Horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a haughty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you Silver? Away! Get on your way. Get on your way. Get on your way with Wheaties. True, champions are made, not born. We can all get there if we try. Take champion Doak Walker, flashy halfback for the Detroit Lions. Doak, at the tender age of nine, decided football was his line. He practiced hours day after day and learned what champions have to say. Wheaties for breakfast, you're on your way. Now a touchdown team from top to toe. Walker and Wheaties, they really go. A guy can put away a lot of Wheaties in 18 years, and that's how long Doak Walker's been eating them. Good for you? There's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Let's go, Doak. Dig for that goal. Hey, hey, hey. He's on his way, on his way. He's on his way, on his way. Get on your way with Wheaties. Cause champions are made, not born. Yes, sir. Get on your way. Get on your way. Get on your way with Wheaties. Breakfast of champions. Sid Rector, outlaw leader, openly led his gang in holdups and robberies and escaped in spite of all efforts to capture him and his followers. The most recent crime was an attack on a small wagon train. The pioneers were taken completely by surprise. Oh, oh there, oh. Hey, someone's shooting at us. Must be outlaws. Up your guns or we'll kill every one of you. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Mister, we have only three wagons and nothing much value. I know you pioneers bring your savings with you. Search wagons, men, hurry. Right. Two of us will keep these fellas covered. Oh, oh, right. Hold on. Right. I'm not going to let you rob us. I'll... No. You so whip on me, will you? No. Oh. Dad. Oh, Dad. Dan! 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 You killed him! Nobody hits Sid Rector and gets away with it. Hurry up, men. Let's get away from here. Right, come on, hurry up. Sorry about your old man, Gurney. But he asked for it. Get up! Get up! Come on! Get up. Get A week later, the Lone Ranger and Tato rode the trail through the hills toward Stockton. Suddenly... Hold it, hold it, old fella. Shot come for boulders yonder. Yes. He's leaving. We'll follow him. Come on, Silver. Come on, Scout. Fire over his head, Tato. Uh-huh. In that shoot pack. In pack it way. I want to know who he is and why he shot at us. Look, his horse is fallen. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, old fella. Oh, he must be hurt. Ah. Look like young fella. The masked man and Indian approached the prone figure warily and with guns ready. He is young. I wonder why he fired at us. Oh. As the throne rider sat up and brushed a hand across her forehead, the hat fell back, revealing oh. a mass of golden hair. She must stop it. Look. It's a girl. Are you hurt, miss? 
Oh, I don't think so. Just shake it. I get... Oh, you're the outlaw I fired at. My gun, it's gone. Toto, the lady's gun is lying over there. Uh-huh. You get it. We're not outlaws, as you seem to think. Oh, here. Here comes Jim Masami. All right, give it to her. Oh, here. You take on. Well, you... You're giving it back to me. But I tried to shoot you. Yes, I... I'd like to know why. I hate outlaws. But I've told you you're mistaken about us. Right now, we'll let you do the explaining. You did try to shoot us. Well, a week ago, Dad and I were coming out with a small wagon train to join my aunt and uncle in Stockton. A gang of outlaws attacked the wagons. One of them... Sid Rector was his name. Shot and killed my dad. Oh, I, I'm sorry. You must sabe. Yeah. Sid Rector, the fellow we look for. Yes. Go on, miss. Why are you disguised as a young man and going around shooting at people? Well, I swore to find that, that murderer, Sid Rector. I told my aunt I wouldn't be back until I do find him. Meantime, I aim to deal with any outlaws I meet with bullets. Isn't what you're doing risky for a young lady? I'm a good shot. I've been visiting my uncle out west. I went home back east a few months ago and persuaded Dad to come out here with me. Then, then that outlaw came along. We've and... heard of Sid Rector and his gang. Tonto and I are here to help capture him. You, you talk like a lawman, but well, that mask you're wearing. You live in West before. Maybe you hear a masked man who ride white stallion. Help law. Well, yes, yes, I have. Do you carry silver bullets? Yes. Here, this is a silver bullet. Yes, it, it is silver. I remember now. My Uncle Jed told me of such a masked man and his Indian companion. Uh, I'm Sally Harris. My uncle is Jed Harris with the Bar H spread near Stockton. I've heard of Jed Harris. <laughs> Look, I'm terribly sorry about what's shooting at you. We'll overlook that now, Miss Harris. But I suggest strongly that you give up your idea of hunting for Sid Rector and go back to your uncle's place. We'll do everything possible to find Rector and his gang and see to it that they're turned over to the law. Ah, it's not good for women hunt outlaws. Well, all right, I'll take your advice and go back to the ranch. But please let me know if you do find the Rector gang. Of course. Now we'll bring back your horse and start you on your way to the ranch. Sally Harris rode over the hill in the direction of the Bar H. But as soon as she was out of sight of the Lone Ranger and Tonto, she turned her horse around and followed them. Sally was determined to trail the masked man and Indian and be on hand if and when they found the man who had killed her father. Get up there. Come on. In a hideout in the hills... Sid Rector looked up from a game of solitaire as his right-hand man, Bill, entered the shack. Well, what are you looking so glum about, Bill? I just came back from Stockton. The whole town's talking about that pioneer you killed on the plains last week, Sid. It seems he was the brother of a rancher named Jed Harris. Ah, let him talk. Now, look, I think we ought to move out of this territory as soon as possible. Nope. We'll move when I say so. Listen to reason, Sid. Seems like Jed Harris is away and hasn't heard yet about his brother's death. They say he's big and tough. And that when he gets back from San Antonio, he'll start the biggest manhunt for us that's ever been seen. <laughs> the sheriff and his men have been hunting us for weeks and they haven't found us. Yeah. Our luck won't always hold. Some of the men are feeling nervous about it. You leave the men to me. I'm running this gang. And I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't savvy. Just why do you want to stick around here, Sid? I'm going to show these people Sid Rector is tougher than they think. We're going to crack the safe in the express office tomorrow night and clean it out. I said you're loco. You're known by sight. And everybody around here is on the lookout for you and us. I can outsmart them any time, so stop worrying. Where's Tom? He and one of the others are guarding the trail of this shack. Four of the men went for supplies. Oh, Good. Well, come on, I'll play a game of cards till the others come back. Meantime, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode through the hills, searching for the gang's hideout. As they crossed a plank culvert over a stream that ran at right angles to the trail, the Lone Ranger called a halt. Who's out? Who's out? Who's out? Who's out? Why, we stopped, Kimasabi. I've noticed something, Tonto. Huh? What? There are many hoof marks on this trail. 
Well, I've noticed worn shoe marks that stand out. Yeah? Those worn marks don't go past the stream. There aren't as many hoof marks on the trail oh. along here. That's right. What do you think it means? Well, if the gang came this way and wanted to cover the trail to their hideout, it's possible they rode along on that stream from here. Yes, I think that's what they did. We follow stream, maybe find hideout. No harm in trying. Let's go. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. The stream ran a short distance behind the shack in which the gang were staying. But at a point where it flowed between large boulders, two men were on guard. One of the men, named Tom, suddenly spoke. Hey, Wes, listen. Somebody coming. Maybe some of the men returning from town. Maybe, but keep out of sight. I'll cross over to the other boulder. Then we'll have them between us. The Lone Ranger and Tonto moved slowly along in the shallow stream. They rounded the bend and approached the large boulders. Suddenly... You're covered from both sides of the stream. Reach and then ride past the boulders. If you go for your guns, you'll get bullets. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Listen, I want you to hear a few seconds of an amazing record. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. Recognize it? Notice how sharp and clear it is? But what's really amazing about this record of Take Me Out to the Ball Game is that I got it off the front of a special Wheaties box. There's an actual five-inch plastic record sealed on the front of every one of these special Wheaties boxes I'm talking about. All you have to do is cut them out. These records play on any 78 RPM manually controlled record player. And listen, Take Me Out to the Ball Game is just one of the tunes you can get. There's also Pony Boy, Blue Tail Fly, Polly Wally Doodle, and others. And each record plays up to 60 seconds. So go down to your grocer right now and pick up the special Wheaties record box. Remember, these records are absolutely free of extra cost. A real bargain in fun. Now to continue... The Lone Ranger and Tonto raised their hands above their heads. The Lone Ranger spoke in a low voice. We'd better do as we're told, Tonto. We're telling you how many there are. Uh, Come on, sir. I'm scout. Tonto. Tonto. That's far enough. Hold over. Hold over. Hold over. Where behind you now? If you try anything, we'll blast you from the saddle. Look, Kimasabi. There's shack ahead. Yes, and two men are coming out the door. Ah. Uh. Then mount right this way. Here, go. Come on. Hurry up, Sid. We trapped the cover all of them. Kimasabi. Him say Sid. That must be hideout. Yes. What we do? Not much we can do right now. Just sit tight. Oh, 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 oh. Put on my thunder. Tom did stop a couple of owl hoots at that. Why did you come snooping around here, mister? We were hoping to find Sid Rector. Up, well, I'm Sid Rector. Why did you hope to find me? Perhaps we want to join your gang. Oh, oh, no, no, no. What's he telling you, Sid? He says he and the engine were looking for me. Wanted to join the gang. Well, that mask shows he's an outlaw. Maybe he speaks the truth. Oh, wait a minute. Something just came to mind. What? A friend of mine who was with another gang was caught by a masked man who rides a white stallion and an engine riding a paint. The description he gave me of the two fit these hombres. He said they helped the law. Well, I'll be talking to Yeah, I've heard of them. And now that you mention it, Bill, I think these are the two you mean. And I'm fairly sure of it. Well, there are four of us here with drawn guns. Shoot to kill if they make a move. Now you two ride towards this shack and keep your hands high. Get going. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. The 
Lone Ranger knew the caliber of men with whom they were dealing and signaled Tonto to follow their instructions for the time being. The masked men and Indian were taken into the shack. Well, the only hombre smart enough to find us got trapped. Bill, three of us will keep him covered. You go behind him, take their guns, put them over on the table. Right. Be ready to fire. Don't worry. Go ahead. Moving carefully, Bill went behind the Lone Ranger and Tonto and took their guns, which he put onto the table. Yeah. Good. Now we really have them cold. What are you going to do with them, Sid? First time up. And I'll remove that mask and see who that hombre is. No, we can't keep him here. I don't intend to. When the other four come back, we'll have some fun. We let the masked man and Indian run for the woods with their hands tied behind their backs. They make it before we can shoot them. <laughs> they keep going. You know we wouldn't have a chance. That's right. But Wes, go put their horses back with ours. All right. Now, Bill, you and Tom time. If they have no guns now, I'll keep them covered. Right. Bill and Tom holstered their guns, got some rope, then approached the masked man and Indian. The Lone Ranger realized the time had come for quick action, regardless of the risk. He glanced at Tonto, and with an almost imperceptible nod, gave the signal to jump the two men. As they did so, there was a sudden interruption. Oh, my arm! Tonto! Oh, get him, get him. The Lone Ranger and Tonto oh, runs out with terrific blows, knocking both Bill and Tom to the floor. Then they grab their guns from the table. Now we hold the guns. Get their guns, Tonto, then tie them. Uh, let me get them. Oh, Sit! I heard a shot. Reach yeah, you! Take his gun, too, Tonto. I'll take it. Miss Harris! I wondered who shot through the window a moment ago. I followed you and the Indian here. I saw the guards bring you here, and that left the way open for me. Oh, but I saw through the window that Rector was the only one holding a gun. Well, well, I fired, hoping you'd both take advantage of the opportunity. I see you did. Then you, plenty good shot. I told you I could shoot. Now I'll help you tie him. Tato and Sally quickly tied the crooks tightly, and then they were placed on bunks. A moment later, hoofbeats were heard approaching the shack. The other four returning. Close the door, Toto. Ah, uh, me do it. If they come in, we may be able to get the drop on them. Maybe. Uh, me think them hear shots. Them not right up the shack. Them dismount back there. They must suspect something is wrong in here. Yes. Look at them. Go behind the... trees. Maybe try to sneak up on, on shack. They're all expert gunmen, I'm sure. We'll have to hold them off. I'll call through the window. You out there! Don't come any closer! Looks like he was trapped in here. Then separate. Shots come from every side of the building. Oh, they mustn't get the best of us. I'm determined Sid Rector will be turned over to the law for punishment. He will be. For some time, shots were exchanged between those in the shack and the four outlaws on the outside. The Lone Ranger was sure one or two of them had been hit, but they kept on fighting. Then other shots were heard from the outside. Look, horsemen riding this way. A lot of them. They must have heard the shooting. I see Uncle Jed. He and the sheriff are leading some of the townsmen. Come on, Tonto, we'll go help. I'm coming along. The battle lasted but a short time. Finally, the other four outlaws were disarmed and subdued. Sally ran forward to meet her uncle. <laughs> Sally, Sally, girl, what are you doing here? And who are those men with you? Cover them, boys. Oh, wait, Uncle Jed. That's the masked man you told me about and his Indian friend. Great day I should have known. They're friends, men. No need to cover them. As soon as I got back home and heard what had happened, Sally, I took all the ranch hands and went to get the sheriff and to ride with us. He brought his men. Then we started out to hunt those killers. That's right. Jed was sure oh, enough. Yes, we were trailing the outlaw gang when we heard the shooting, so we come to find out about it. I reckon this is the gang we were after. Huh? Yeah, Sid Rector and three more of his men are in the shack securely bound. Yeah, boy, it's under mystery. When you and that engine get after anybody, you sure get him. Your niece was quite a help to us. She's a brave girl. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Sally's a mighty fine girl, Missy. Now, if a man had a hankering to settle down and wanted a good wife, I'd say Sally... Oh, um... Uncle Jan, please. Well, the man who marries Sally will be fortunate indeed, Mr. Harris. Well, Jed, those four... Two more of them. Nope. 
Mass men an inch in a friend, Chef. I can vouch for him. <laughs> for that matter, I reckon Sally will, too. Of course. Sheriff Sid Rector and three others are tied up in the shack. Well, let's go get it. Oh, 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 get it. Oh, oh, oh. Soon, Jed, the sheriff, and Sally stood watching as the sheriff's men cut the ropes that bound the outlaw's ankles. We'll walk them out and then tie them on the horses. By Jiminy, I still don't see how this all came about. What were you doing here, Sally? Where'd you run across a masked man in India? Briefly, Sally explained what had happened and how she had decided to follow the lone ranger and Tonto. When she finished, the sheriff said, By golly, if you hadn't followed him... They might have been dead by now. Well, maybe yes, and then again, maybe no, Sheriff. I reckon Sally shot through the window, gave him the chance he wanted, but uh, I think they would have turned the tables in some way on Rector and his gunman. Those two hombres are plenty fast and plenty clever. They moved like lightning when I did fire that shot. That masked man is wonderful. I know. Where have they gone? Uh, I saw him riding away a few minutes ago, uh, I reckon they figured they'd done enough for one day. We could have finished them off if that girl hadn't butted in. Shut up, Ricky. If I take a shot at you, it'll be what you deserve. You murdered my brother out on the plains. He and his men will hang for that. I hope so. I knew if I followed the masked man and Indian that they'd find Rector sooner or later. Oh, I wish now they hadn't found him so soon. <laughs> Stop sighing over the masked man, Sally. It won't do you any good. Why do you say that? After all, Uncle Jed, I am, well, presentable. <laughs> You're beautiful, Miss Sally. How about that, boy? Yes. <laughs> you see, Uncle Jed, now if I only knew who that masked man is and where he lives... Oh, Sally, forget it. You see, the whole West is his home. And he's dedicated his life to helping others and ridding the West of crooks and killers. I told you many stories about the masked man, Sally. But I never told you that he's the Lone Ranger. Sailor Sam is the smartest boy who ever shouted ship ahoy. He can weather any storm that blows. He's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Kids, every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. Cheerios, remember, is made from oats, yet needs no cooking. Eat Cheerios, the cereal shaped like little letter O's. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is created by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated, directed by Charles D. Livingston, and edited by Fran Stryker. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. The Lone Ranger is brought to you by General Mills every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this same time. Be sure to listen. This recorded program has come to you from Detroit. This is ABC Radio Network.